for work, we literally have to wear black jeans. I have this pair that I got from ASOS, which honestly, I didn't own any black jeans, so this is all new. Um, by the way, buying all this stuff for this season, it's cost me a bomb. It has cost me an absolute fortune. This isn't all going to fit, and this is you. And then I got these from H&M, which were great. I think they were only like, yeah, £25. These fit so nice. I got them in a size 12, and I really, really like them. And then, other than that, uniform is super easy. If you watched my London vlog, you have seen all the flattering t-shirts. So we just have two of these black ones, two grey polo necks with a little logo on the back and a logo on the front. I can't believe, I literally can't believe that in, well, that this time next week, I'm going to be walking around in the Alps. Like walking around in the Alps in my uniform. I'm so excited. Genuinely so excited for like this new adventure, like new energy, newness, just everything new. Like I'm I'm so excited. And then we have a cute little fleece. A little VIP Columbia fleece. I'm gonna try to get all this in here. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, wow. Wow! Not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm gassed. I just got two, that's actually heavy. That is the work cube done. Okay, underwear, second one, we're doing well. <laughs> doing well so far. Um, obviously not gonna show you everything in here, but basically I'm gonna regret I'm doing this so bad. So I brought like 10 pairs of pants, I think maybe like 10 pairs of black socks, um, a couple of pairs of sports socks, and then three pairs of ski socks. I have another pair and I can't find them and I really obviously want four pairs. So three pairs of ski socks, two bikinis, don't forget like a swimwear because there'll be hot tubs and stuff out there so I brought two bikinis with me and then some nice fluffy, these are literally like my mum got me these as a little going away present. And then I brought four bras um, because obviously I'll be wearing those at work and two sports bras. I might move you guys over there actually because that's where everything is. Okay, give me a second. I need to think everything through. Okay, a couple of TikToks and a hair change later. We still haven't <laughs> progressed with the pack in. It's now nine o'clock. It's actually ten past nine, but I just thought pajamas. Pajamas is an easy one. Oh, they're in the wash. I'm gonna go see if they're dry. Okay, not dry because they're not even on the they were still in the washing machine, basically. But, got another bag. So I think I'm going to be taking this one. This one is my hand luggage. And then the other rucksack. So anyway, I'm going to turn you guys around. It's, it's a bit of a shit show over there. I'm not going to lie. A bit is a real underestimation as well. Please, no judgment. Potentially the most anesthetic filming background you have ever seen in your it's really bad. You know when some people like sorry about the mess and they've got like one cup in the background? Yeah, no. If I say sorry about the mess, it's messy. Like this is just everything that I think I've needed. I've just shoved it to one side of my room. Do you know what? I'm sure it's relatable. I'm sure that this is more relatable. <laughs> oh, you've literally got like broken drawers in the background because I stuffed them too full. Oh, let's just ignore this because this had to happen, right? And I'm sure it's relatable. Like, my whole room was so clean and tidy and I just shoved everything I think I would need into this pile. These are my board boots. I thought we could pack them next. I got them from Burton and they're really comfy. I got them from Ellis Brigham in Castleford if you live near here. I think they were like 260 but that was with a 20% off deal. These are them, they're so cute. And they have like, I don't know what these are called, but they make it easier to tie the laces. But I, I can tell you right now, I don't know how to put these on my feet because the guy at the shop did it for me. And uh, yeah, I'm telling you right now, I do not know how to put them on my feet. But they got like heat molded and everything to my feet. So the soles are like, gonna be really comfy for me. Oh, how cute, I'm gonna be a little snowboarder. If I can't snowboard, like, if I'm, this box is actually really handy because I can throw all of the rubbish in there. Everything I've got is like new, so I'm going to have so much rubbish. Okay, that's really handy actually. If I don't come back like sick at snowboarding, I'm going to be mad, but they're actually so nice. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I can like do stuff like this. Like don't think this is me just 
sitting here thinking this is a normal thing to do like I'm I've worked hard but at the same time I'm so grateful that I can just like go to a ski season and forget about life and like not think about any responsibilities at home or anything like I'm I'm truly so grateful that I have the opportunity to like go and go on a ski season and just leave home behind and like have the best time and have all this new stuff that is expensive and like I I'm not like I've been stressed because I feel like people going out there are gonna have a lot nicer and a lot more ski stuff than me but I need to just like strip that back and be like oh my goodness Charlotte the fact that you can afford to buy snowboard boots like some people can't do that and like the fact that I've got like loads of new shirt that I'm bringing with me that has been expensive like I'm so so grateful um but yeah I'm gonna pack these in the red bag I'm gonna actually put like <sighs> ski accessories I don't know what to call them accessories in this bag instead of pajamas so let me show you what I've got oh also actually first how cute these are like my pride and joy is that the saying these are like my little apre boots I think they're the cutest things ever like I can't wait to just stomp around in them okay so I'm gonna try and speed this up. So I've been taking three beanies with me, but I actually wanna buy, this is gonna sound crazy. I don't really like any of them. I only like this one. Like, should I just take two? Am I even gonna wear this one? I don't know. I'm gonna take all three. Like it doesn't, it's not that much luggage space, but yeah, this is just an urban one. It's so cute, but I'm gonna leave that out because I wanna take that in my hand luggage. This is another urban one. It's actually my friend's, but like he gave me it. And I, I use it all the time for hiking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take that one. And then, I think this is from Urban too. They're all from Urban. <laughs> okay, next purchase is kind of funny. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, I feel like, if you're a boarder. <laughs> I got some wrist guards. I feel like the guy just fully convinced us to buy them and I don't really need them. But I have them now. So they just look like this. They're just like little wrist guards because obviously I'm going to be falling over a lot. Again, another like pride and joy item. My little North Face mitts, how cute. I forgot how nice and snug these are, but yeah, I got these, these were 60 pounds. I was clueless with this item, but I went quite cheap, which I feel like I might regret. I might end up buying a new pair when I'm out there. But I got some Salomon, I think that's how you pronounce it, the good brand, Salomon goggles. I went for this color, they're really cute. Yeah, these are just a really cheap pair and I didn't realize how much there actually was to buy in ski goggles. Like. I was like, oh, you just choose the pretty lens. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not about that. It's actually like the lenses are different colors. So the different colors mean different weather conditions. So like proper borders and skiers have different colors, len different colored lenses for all the different conditions. It's just literally a black fleece one. I had these for some reason already. I think I've just had them gifted as like random presents. Okay stuff Jesus. so I have just been chatting with my mum I definitely do not think I have enough and I literally have two pairs of leggings I was, like, I was really going in on the minimalist minimalism thing I was like yeah two pairs of leggings two base layers done and dusted I got these in the able sale the other day the one and only colorful thing you've seen in this entire pack with me um but they're just like literally tops with the little logo this one's in this really cute peach colour and then this one is in this gorgeous blue colour and honestly they fit amazing like they make my figure look so nice and I feel so comfy and cosy in them. So I got the blue in a small but then I had to get the peach in a medium and I love just because like I love this colour I really wanted this colour. Um, the small is definitely a better fit. Like, this fits fine, but I just prefer how the small looks and feels. So if you're on my size, like, up top, I'm, like, an 8, sometimes a 10. Go for a small. One of my favourite pairs of leggings. They're, like, the khaki able leggings. So I'm bringing those. My other sports leggings are in the wash, but they're Gymshark. I have two pairs of salad packs currently with me, so I, I love the fit of these. I wore them in my lesson. But these are the dope ones. I'll link below because I can't remember exactly what they're called. They're literally just black, but they fit so nice. I've ordered these, um, but they haven't come yet. So, 
you go. Super cute. This I bought two years ago. But like if you follow my Instagram, I always get asked where this is from because I wear it on all my hikes. It's got a cute little hood. The back's just plain. But yeah, I've worn this, like I've used this so much. Like I use it for dog walks, for hiking. I just use it all the time. It's such a good light proof, like fleecy um jacket. And I bought this one two years ago, which is surprise, surprise, it's white as well. Um, this isn't really me anymore. Like I wouldn't buy this. I wouldn't have bought this if I was shopping this year, but it's also more of a ski jacket because in 2020, um, I was going to ski, so I bought this, um, but I'm just going to take it as like my warm jacket. I don't know where it's from. I think I actually got it off ASOS, but the brand is called Protest. And then I'm also going to bring my North Face gilet, which is downstairs. I'm going to wear that on the coach so that doesn't need to get packed. But yeah, <laughs> let's try and fit all of this bulky clothing into this packing cube. I'm shocked. I fit all of that in here. The base layers, the two jackets, that's really heavy. The two jackets, the two pairs of salad pets, all in here. Next up, I've got like normal clothes and pajamas and to be honest, I'm debating. I might leave them till tomorrow. We might pick this back up in the morning. I'm not gonna lie, I'm ill. Like, I couldn't wake up this morning. I'm so tired. Also, I never have iced coffee. I think I wanted an iced one this morning because my throat was so sore. And this is such a letdown. We have like three ice cubes left. So you know when it's not like, it's just room temperature. I only like iced coffee if it's like super icy. We're going to finish packing. So something that's actually super easy. I have to wear black shoes for work. So I'm bringing my van. Um, anyway, I'm going to put my pajamas in this little drawstring bag. So I'm just bringing two pairs. Um, I got these from Lounge, and then I got these from Hollister. They're like pretty cute. They're like Christmassy, but they're not like bright red in your face Christmassy. Okay, this has been a mission, like an absolute mission. But I think we finally narrowed it down. So trouser wise, I'm gonna take two pairs of trackies, these ones, and these ones. Why am I so out of breath? <laughs> these are both just um Ants Fans trackies. I'm gonna bring my cargos for like nights out or whatever two pairs of jeans a pair of cycling shorts just in case we're allowed to use the gym so that seems okay actually like that doesn't seem too much plus trackies and jeans i've tried to narrow this down but it's it's not happening so let's just see if we can fit all of this in so i have got oh my goodness how am i going to show you guys this okay so we have a gym shark top i'm also going to bring this so they're like my two oversized t-shirts then I have this little BD jeans top my with jean top that actually needs to go in the wash so I'm gonna leave that out um north face t-shirt that's just a little short sleeved my long sleeve gym shark top they're like all kind of chilling tops oh and this little cotton like BD jean top as well this seems ridiculous but I can't narrow it down turtle neck <laughs> this is like a little going out top going out top, cute long sleeved. These I'm not sure on. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the corset just cause I feel like I'm really not gonna wear that on a ski season, but let's just bring it. This top I love, but I never wear cause I can never find like what to wear it with. I've literally worn it once in Lisbon. So maybe I leave it because I feel like I won't have it. It's really cute. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it. We're just gonna bring it. <laughs> and then I wanna bring this crop denim top and a cropped blazer, which Am I realistically going to wear a cropped blazer? No, but we're going to bring it anyway. Um, I think that's everything. Okay, I do feel like, I just swapped tops by the way because I wanted to pack the Fila one and keep this one out. Um, I do feel like I've been very excessive with the tops, like, but they all fit in here. I mean, I am about to put three in the wash and I am wearing one, but they all fit in here. <laughs> So I did also put my cropped blazer and a jumper in here, just like one of those vest jumpers um, to go to the top of like a turtle neck or something. Um, so yeah, that was tops done. Now we've got to move on to this mess. <laughs> I feel like I really want to go back through the tops and be more minimalist. Do you know what's really stressing me out with this is the going out outfits. Like, and I bet you, I bet you when I get there, we just go out and ask you stuff. Like leggings and a hoodie or something. I bet you no one dresses up. I'm gonna try and sort out which jumpers I'm gonna bring now because we cannot bring all of those. That is excessive to say the least. Um, and then I will show you which ones 
I decide. But we're nearly done, to be honest, guys, after jumpers. We're done, other than, like, toiletries and, like, I don't know, like, my Polaroid camera and stuff like that. These are the hoodies I'm bringing because there is no, like, being suede on those. I love this one. This is actually from the men's section of Urban. Um, I really want that brand. It's the Sunday Club. I want them to bring out more clothes. And then my ears from's white hoodie, which I'm actually going to leave. Am I going to leave that out? I feel like I'll wear that. Then I have this Sisters and Seekers jumper, which I thought would be quite, oh, that, oh, no, that needs a good old, that needs a really good wash. I just put a white swash on. Okay, have this Sisters and Seekers jumper, which I thought would be really nice for like a prey, but that obviously needs to go in the wash. Then I have this, which I cropped myself. <laughs> um, and I thought to bring this big like gray knitted roll neck thing. Um, okay, and then I have two fleeces, and again, I hate how everything's white, like, I want some colour, but this is just a goose and gander, like, super oversized zip-up fleece, and then this is a dope hoodie fleece, and I have my favourite one downstairs, which is, like, my brand new Columbia one. Okay, so the jump has proved a bit difficult, I have four, maybe five. I have five. I have five jumpers in here. These packing cubes are really, really good. I have five jumpers in here. I left a hoodie out and forgot to wash one and then I've got a fleece. So that means I'm bringing eight jumpers in total, which I don't know if that's too extreme. Take it or leave it. Um, but I'm now going to sort out like all the little bits and pieces and then I'll show you guys that really quickly and round this video up. But yeah, we're nearly done. Right, okay, so I've just laid some toiletries out and I do need to go to a boots shop in a second. Plus, obviously, this isn't all my toiletries. I'm not going to film taking, like, my makeup bag and, like, toiletries, like, my toothbrush and my toothpaste that are still being used. I'm not going to film any of that stuff. So, obviously, I've still got to pack, like, hair straighteners, hair brushes, makeup, toiletry, like, other toiletries. But I thought I'd just give a little overview. So those packing cubes came with this wash bag too, which I can just see that getting absolutely filthy. Um, but anyway, I've made sure to bring a big thing of moisturiser and all I've gauged from people in terms of packing toiletries for a ski season is pack as much as you can because apparently like toiletries are so much more expensive out there. So hence why I've bought like the big things with me rather than just buying shampoo and conditioner out there obviously I'm gonna have to do that might as well give myself a little head start um but yeah apparently things like I don't really take tablets like I, I I'm not the type of person to usually bring tablets with me on holiday and stuff but apparently these are a lot more expensive out there too so I've just bought them in case and then apparently as well dry shampoo every video I've watched on like packing for a ski season they've all said bring dry shampoo I feel like I've got an okay amount left in here um, but apparently that is a lot more expensive out there too. So I might actually buy another one of those in boots today. Um, I'm going to bring my microfiber towel with me, but I, I need to find that. I'm not sure where it is right now. <laughs> and then I thought as well, like blister plasters is probably a good shout. I've got my cold sore stuff because you know me. Again, um, hand cream. Apparently this is amazing because obviously you're working at like high altitudes and everything. So I'm bringing two things of hand cream with me. Um, obviously got my Proverb Natural Deodorant. I have a discount code for this actually that I'll leave on screen. This is my favourite deodorant. This is, isn't is the actual like um, tube, it's just a refill, but I'm going to bring the refill with me. Cotton buds, my fake tan, I'm going <clears> to <throat> bring a bottle of fake tan with me too. I need to get that out. Perfume, eyebrow dye, so yeah, like just a little overhaul. I've obviously taken like hand gel with me too. I feel like that'll be really beneficial to take, but I'm going to put that in my little hand luggage rucksack. I think I'm going to try and put some travel cubes in this bag and see how it goes. How do we do this? I feel like I want to put the big, oh my goodness that's heavy. Is that even going to, it's not even fitting, it's too wide. Right, that will fit, it will fit, it'll squish. Like we can fully, yeah we can squish that in there. I feel like this is going to be a disaster and then tonight is no longer going to be a nice night in with my mum. It's going to be a, you're helping me pack because I'm incapable. <laughs> That's like one bag full already. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, it is now Friday morning. <laughs> I told you I was bad at packing and also trying to see if I can 
actually use this bag because I got all overwhelmed and flustered yesterday. This red bag is actually tiny. Um, so I'm just going to pack shit in this suitcase and see if it weighs too much. Okay, I'm about to pack my like hand luggage bag. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm putting it in there. I have like my beanie in the front there and then I have some journals here because I'm obsessed with journaling and also my book. I'll show you. My mum got me this ages ago and like I'm not going to read it out but just read the front. This is gorgeous. She got me this when I was meant to go travelling in 2020. Um, and yeah, it's just the sweetest thing so now I can finally use it and I basically just want to like keep a diary and write down everything that happens every single day of my travels. So yeah, I've got a few journals in there um, and a book because I don't want to like... I don't want to stop my personal development stuff just because I'm with other people all the time. So I'm going to keep going with that, like no matter what other people think about it. Four portable charges, <laughs> which all need charging. I am on a coach with no plug sockets for 18 hours. So yeah, there we go. Um, tissues, hand sanitizer, hand cream, hairbrush, and actually my other hairbrush too. Um my purse, sunglasses, reading glasses, playing cards, my, this is a DJI Osmo, but it's like a GoPro, um, I'll have my other camera too, but obviously, it's right here, um, my Polaroid, and my laptop, and then in here I put all like, um, SD cards, and stuff like that, so obviously I'm going to put charges in here too, but they'll all be in used at the moment I actually need to order like this charger isn't working but it's not the leads it's the head because I literally have so many leads that are working in my car but not working in the plug socket which is annoying so yeah that is my that's my hand luggage I'm gonna pop all this in the rucksack and then try and finish off these because I've got to make moves I have to go <laughs> guys I'm not messing this is no longer fun I'm actually gonna cry. I've just tried to weigh this suit. Have I got my? Oh, for God's sake! That's because I have been crying, but not the packing situation. I just tried to weigh this suitcase. It's thirty-five kg. Just tried to weigh the rucksack. That was thirty kg. I need to go to the gym. I need to do my walk to get my steps in. I need to do a lecture, I need to clean, there's so much I need to do, I need to leave the house. It's just really not going well, like literally. Oh my god, that is literally nearly 40 kg. Ah! It feels weird holding the camera because I always like set it down somewhere. Um, yeah, it feels really, really weird, I don't like it. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video here. It's probably been the most... Do you know what? I need to put you down somewhere. Like, I literally can't get my issue. There's the light ends a bit, a bit random. Okay, this is going to do. We're very, very white right now. Um, so, I'm going to finish this video off here. Hopefully, I will get this edited and uploaded for either tonight or Sunday. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I've been to the gym, I have kind of finished packing, I'll show you in a second, I'm just packing a few more bits now, and then I'm literally gonna pack my car, clean my car out, make sure like everything at home is left in a good way for me to come back to you, and then head off to my dad's house. I can't believe it, like it still doesn't feel like I'm going, um, I'm gonna film a little drive with me, um, today as well so I'll talk all about like how I'm feeling and stuff in that but I feel like this is the most chaotic boring unhelpful video in the world like if I was gonna click on a pack with me it would be to help and I feel like this is really not helpful but anyway basically I put on the chat that I was so stressed about packing in our like our little season air chat and um everyone was like yeah don't worry like I I'm not bringing a 20 kg bag like everyone's just bringing two bags of like whatever weight so I've jumped on that bandwagon, <laughs> just literally following the crowd. I'm like, I'm going to do that to you. One of my bags, I haven't weighed the big suitcase. I'm just like avoiding that. And the other one was like 25. So that's not even that bad, the rucksack. I don't know how that went down by so much weight because like I literally took 
I, I barely took anything out, but I'm going to finish up this video here. You guys know what to do if you want to stick around, and ski season content is coming very, very soon.